Hello, everybody. This is Madness. And this is Fizzy Pop. And we're back again trying a new format for our video reviews. In this review, there will be no clips from the games because we're lazy. <laughs> and we're instead just going to jump right into the review of the games. For this particular installment video, we're going to be doing the Paper Mario series, licensed by... Nintendo! Please don't sue us. Now, <laughs> the Paper Mario series. Now, Mario, as everyone knows, is the biggest whore you will ever find in any video game ever. If you could name a type of game, he's been in it. I guarantee it. Yeah, puzzles, RPGs. Fighting games. Yeah, everything. Cooking games, soccer, baseball, football. Racing. He's been in other dimensions. He's been in other people's games. Yeah, he's pretty much everywhere. There's no getting away. He will own you. So, now the Paper Mario series. The Paper Mario thought series. Thought to be the pre- or the, um, sequel. sequel to the Mario Search for the Seven Stars RPG for the Super Nintendo. Licensed by... Nintendo! Ah, Square Enix. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. Oops. And Nintendo, wasn't it both? Well, it was a co-production. Please don't sue us, Nintendo. Or, or Square, Square Enix. Enix. Even though I hate your Final Fantasy games. Now! Stop that! <laughs> Paper Mario series. Now, when people talk about Paper Mario, it's hit or miss. Either you loved them, or you hated them. Fortunately for me, I can say I'm in between. Now, Paper Mario 1 for the N64 was, for me, a so-so game. It at that point, I had already seen Mario in practically every genre you can imagine, and when I heard that he was going to be in Paper Mario, I thought, wow, he's been in so many games, the only thing left to do is to drop a dimension and hope he gets interesting again? I don't know. To me, I hadn't played a lot of the other Mario games. I was pretty picky about what I did play and what I didn't play. Paper Mario, to me, seemed really unique and really like innovative, especially because I had seen like a lot of clips in, their mag like, in the Nintendo Power magazines and stuff. So, <laughs> Nintendo Power. Um, so, I really liked the first one. The first one, to me, was really entertaining and really fresh. And, I mean, I love RPGs, so that was probably a big plus for me there. The storyline is actually pretty good, although, to me, a lot of it follows the exact same story of uh, the, like the Mario RPG. So... Yeah, the princess is kidnapped again. By who? Bowser. Figured, Big surprise? You figured no. he would just leave her there. Get a new girlfriend. One will put out. Now. The partners are actually really cool in this game, I think. Part there are some really unique ones. There are. I won't argue that. The gameplay is solid. The RPG elements are consistent. Um, the battle system is really cool. It is. Because you can hit somebody, and then you can hit somebody harder if you can time it right. I like that. And I like the turn base because it means I don't have to actually sit there and be like, okay, if I jump, will I hit them? Just like real life, if you have, if you're gonna hit somebody, you're gonna hit them. Then wait to see if they hit you back. Just like, try it. I dare you. Go out and just punch someone, and then I'm wait, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I gotta look at my options. Like, oh, I can run. <laughs> the hell is I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I can't get away. There's a wall. I don't know how I didn't see it before. Now. So I would say Paper Mario was an okay game. I'm, if you're going to play the Paper Mario series, I would recommend to play the first one if you have a chance. I mean, they do have it available on the Wii for their virtual console if you cannot find a Nintendo like a, a Nintendo 64 copy. That's what I had to do. Although I did have an original copy, I just don't know where it went. Now, the second game in this series, Super Paper Mario, or, sorry, Paper Mario, getting ahead of myself. Thousand Year Door. Thousand Year Door for the GameCube was an excellent game. I wholeheartedly recommend it. I think you like it because of the glitz, Phil. Ah, uh, yes. Well, see, for those of you who don't know, I am a huge wrestling fan. And there is a chapter in, the, in that game where you have to fight your way through various wrestlers. You are the great Gonzalez. No doubt reminiscent of Giant Gonzalez, the world-famous worst wrestler ever. <laughs> We've got our big baddie in that level, who is the Hulk Rock Hogan. Hawk. Who is Hulk Hogan dressed no, as a chicken? No, no, it's not Hulk Hogan. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Rock Hawk. Uh, my fault. Uh, Hulk Hogan, sorry. Trademark, Terry Bollea Industries. There you go. Please don't sue there, brother. Now, um, 
Uh, the, the, the game itself, the RPG elements are sound, the story is imaginative, the partners are useful. They're useful, except for Goombella. She's not really uh, useful if you, don't, if you have the internet uh, yes, you see, to look everything up. You see Goombella tells you how much how many hit points characters have, but if you have the internet or a walkthrough and go to game FAQs, then she becomes useless. Pretty much. So... That particular game, I wholeheartedly recommend. I really like that one, too. Actually, I really like how they added a stage element and an audience. Because this time around, you didn't have to wait for your star power to... Can you stop it? <laughs> to um, regain before you could use it again. You could speed it up by doing stylish moves or even just appealing to the crowd. Because, you know, they love you! Hopefully you will love us. Yep. Here's open. Um... <laughs> And the partners were actually imaginative. Uh, uh, Vivian was actually quite imaginative. I liked Vivian. Useful. Koops and Goombella were kind of overdone. You know there was going to be a, like a Koopa, and you knew there was going to be a, a Goomba, so well, no big surprise there. Although I did like the way they made Go Koops a whip. Yeah, I guess. Underdog. I don't know. I really liked the uh, Yoshi character. You get to name him yourself. Ah, yes. And sometimes he's different colors for some reason. Uh, it depended on which file save you chose. So if you chose the green one, he was green. If you chose the red one, he was like orange or something like that. I don't know. Yes, and he and they all had very interesting things to say before big events, like let's fight him. Well, they all said different things. Yes. And they had some really cute levels on that, like some really neat new um, allies and like new creatures to even see. Like I thought that the punies were really cute really simple but so cute and it was a really neat idea yeah, well they didn't actually do it contribute to the game they did you had to use them well i meant they didn't help you fight yeah but i mean like places like the town or glitzville like you know everywhere else they weren't useful so. no true enough all in all i would recommend this game wholeheartedly and if you have a gamecube pick it up if not wait for it to become available on the or virtual console or you can buy it and play it on the wii true enough <laughs> Now, the final, well, for now, until they pour him out some more. I don't know, I hope they make a Super uh, Luigi, Paper Luigi there, instead of Super Paper Mario! Super Paper Mario. Which is our next one, for which the Wii. Which is it's for the Wii, yes. It's the most recent game. This game is kicking a dead horse. Well, I don't know, I thought it was really neat, because they really did try to revamp it to make it new and super. Some of it was hit and miss, and some, you know, some of it well, was really good. I thought it was really cool how you could actually flip into 3D. It was interesting. The one thing that I, the two things, sorry, that I will and say. And it did that, use the Wii mode abilities. The two things that I will say were weird was one, they took away the RPG element and replaced them with jumping, which I guess is reminiscent of the old Mario games. Well, but they had just to seemed, it, it just seemed unnecessary. I mean, it wasn't broke, so why fix it? And the other thing was all the weird little MS DOS things that would follow you around wherever you went. Oh. Trademark Microsoft. Uh, Tippy was pretty much like the fairies in Legend of Zelda. Hey, instead of hey, listen, it was Mario. I think there's something here. Mario, listen to me. Mario got kind of annoying after a while. What was cool was that it wasn't Bowser stealing Princess Peach for Ooh, once. Oh, it was Doctor Claw. Yeah, it was <laughs> Count Black, and he didn't even hold on to her for very long. Now he is your main villain, though. Yeah. Well, he is your main villain. He's uh, he's kind of unique and actually kind of a new character for Mario. I mean, you hadn't really seen a character like this before in Mario. And, I mean, you got to play as the princess, you got to play as Bowser, and you got to play as Luigi, which was cool because they all had different effects. I mean, Princess Peach was pretty much invulner like, in invulnerable to uh, attacks if she brought down her umbrella. Luigi could jump really high, and Bowser had flame breath. And he was strong. So, I mean... All, all in all, I would say this game is a definite review. I'd say pick up the whole series. Yeah. You can't go wrong. If you get a chance, play it all. Pretty much if you've got a Wii, you've got the ability to. So... Oh, and you know, even though it's not part of the series, if you can find Super Mario RPG... That's a good one, too. Till next time, guys. I'm Madness. Take it easy. Peace out.